Today we're going to look at our fantastic ruler called the chitin a square. This right here is what I'm talking about. This is the kite shape inside the square itself. So let's make one. Okay, our kite in the square is a three-piece set. So you have your grooved ruler, which is here on my left, and then there are the two oversized cutting templates. And these have been oversized to put everything in the right place on your unit. And you can find a lot of patterns for the kite in the square inside the Blockmaker 2 book. So what the kite in the square ruler actually does is it forces that point of your kite to be exactly within the quarter inch seam allowance so that you never lose that point. So what I've done off camera is I have already pre-starched my yardage quite heavily and I've cut out both my pieces. And when you cut out this piece, you will always get this shape, but when your fabric is right sides together or wrong sides together and you cut out these pieces, you actually end up with your left and your right hand side of your kite in a square unit. So what I've done is I've actually, let me move this up a little bit, I have put a foot on my sewing machine and this is my favorite foot and you don't have to have it, use what works for you. But I can move my needle position over to 4.0 and to the right and with this flange on the end of my sewing machine foot it gives me absolute accuracy. So this is a perfect quarter inch. And then what I'm going to do is make sure that my needle is in the down position. And then the next thing that I have to do, and I really do do this, is I have to arrange my pieces like they need to be seen because if I don't, I'm going to make a mistake. So this is really important. Make sure that you arrange everything. And then I'm going to set this one aside. And this is right side up and so is the kite piece. So I'm going to flip it right sides together and I'm going to match up the cut edge and what I'm matching right here is you see how the white piece is matching on the corner of the kite that's what you want to see so then when I put this in here get my thread going I've got my exact quarter inch and I just start sewing from the corner off and I'm going to leave the needle down and make sure that I've got all the edges lined up and then I just start sewing this seam like so. And then what you're going to do, because you have pre-starched, it allows you to actually finger press this to the outside and this is the way it needs to be for the ruler to work. It has to be pressed out. Then I'll bring this over and now I'm going to add this other piece. So I flip the kite piece on top of the side triangle and again I'm matching up my cut edges, put it in the machine, take a couple of stitches, leave the needle down and make sure that I'm lined up all the way from here all the way down. And if you notice, I didn't trim before. I didn't trim this little piece that was hanging off. But I do that on purpose because I really think that makes a great handle. So, you know, when you see here in a minute when I stitch this through, see, I can hang onto this little piece right here and sail right through it. And it looks great. Okay. So now I've got to press the other piece out just like so. Finger pressing is a fantastic thing, especially when your fabric is starched and you don't have to make trips to the ironing board. And then I do bring in a turning mat. I really like these Ulfa mats just because they have a grippy surface and it allows me to get the kind of traction that I like. And then what you'll do is you'll take your grooved ruler and push it all the way up until it's locked on. And you want to check the grooves to make sure that they're filled up with seam allowance from the front side of your unit and then you can start trimming. And when I'm working with block lock I always anchor my fingers like this. I've got some fingers on top of the ruler and then I usually have my thumb and my pinky on the ruler and on the mat. See if I can cut sitting down. Ah, I 
did it. Turn it around. Bring in the next piece. Turn it around. I better bring this closer to me. One thing also that I'm doing I probably should mention, you know, when I'm trimming with block lock, I never start at the corner because if I do, I'm always going to chop off uh, a piece of my ruler. So I actually start in little ways and then I bring it back and then I go forward again. Okay, and this is what the perfectly trimmed kite in the square looks like. Thanks for joining us today. Please visit our website for more information and happy quilting.